The Project 22800 Karakut is a class of new corvette that are currently under construction and in operation by the Russian Navy. Designed to be a cheaper vessel alternative to the Admiral Gorovich class frigates, these are designed to bolster their numbers in given fleets. The Russian Navy started to redevelop post dissolution over the Soviet Union. The origins of this project can be traced back to the Project 12300 Scorpion class gunboats. Take note of that number. Designed to combat surface units, these vessels would be used in the anti surface role. However, this wouldn't go any further than the keel laying. Because this project stalled and stalled and stalled, the project went to the proverbial bin, and a new design would be drawn up that would form the basis of the Karakut. Although the design lineage can be traced back to the Scorpion class, the visual design would originate from another project for a corvette, the Project 21630 Astrakhan, or more commonly known as the Buyan class corvette. From this base design, the Karakut would be developed as a Blue Water Navy variant, however, instead of being a larger vessel, these ships would come in between the Astrakhan and the Shvias class in terms of length and displacement. Something that would be brought over to the new design would be the addition of the generally used vertical launch system being fitted to newer fleet vessels. Like the Shviask and the Steraguchi Batch 2 vessels, the multi-role UK-SK vertical launch system will be used. Designed heavily off the Shviask class, the Karakuts incorporate similarities with the preceding vessels. Due to the Shviask, being laid down before, alterations and modifications can be made to the new design whilst the new ships were in the early construction phase. Even this would mean minimal alterations to the first vessels, latter vessels would include set of modifications if required due to the standard design, build and rectification method currently employed with most navies today. The ships would be built with a low radar cross section designed to limit its detectability in operations, thus enhancing the possible survivability of these vessels in the face of missile attack. Other enhancements over preceding classes would include a low caliber standard main gun, a UKSK vertical launch silos capable of taking the latest and greatest in the Russian surface to surface weaponry. Additionally, like 90% of the Russian fleet, these vessels would mount a close in weapon system capability in the form of the old AK-630 mount and the newer Panzer M new weapon system. The ships are 800 tons with hulls 1 and 2, whereas the rest of the class would displace 860 tons. They are 67 meters long, have a beam of 11 meters and a draft of 3.3 meters. Their propulsion comes from a combined diesel and diesel propulsion system powering the ship's three propellers for a cruise speed of 14 knots and a top speed of 30. Range is about 2,500 nautical miles at cruise speed, however, due to the limited size of these vessels, the endurance is about 15 days, although these ships do have a limited replenishment at sea capability. It is likely they will operate for the 15 day operational mark and are not likely to replenish at sea. Crew complement is relatively small. Some sources state 39, some state 50, and maybe even a maximum of about 70. These class of ships would be armed with the following systems. Two four-cell UKSK vertical launch silos, capable of taking the caliber land attack cruise missile, SSN-27 Sizzler anti-ship cruise missile, SSN-26 Strobel, or as more commonly known as P-800 Onyx, or Yakont. And finally, SSN-33 Zircon Hypersonic Anti-Ship Cruise Missile. Gun-based armament would include one 100mm A-190 naval gun fitted hulls number 1. This has a capability to shoot out to 10.7 nautical miles with 80 rounds per minute. One AK 176 MA 59 caliber 76mm gun, fitted to the rest of the class. 
This system's capabilities are, it can shoot effectively out to 5.4 nautical miles, has a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. Two AK-630 Mike II duet close-in weapon systems fitted to hulls number one and two. These weapons have an effective range of about 2.2 nautical miles. One Panzer M close-in weapon system fitted with the Hermes K surface-to-air missile and two rotary cannons. This is fitted to the rest of the vessels in this class. The standoff range for the missile is 16.2 nautical miles and is capable of Mark 3.79. The cannons are capable of shooting out to effective range of 2.7 nautical miles. Additional weaponry consists of small arms and the odd machine gun or two. Due to the relative nature of these vessels' design and construction, they can incorporate the latest in Russia's radar design, and thus, the following fit is a standard across the class. A FAR, or the Advanced Airborne Fixed Array Radar, is an active, electronically scanned array radar fitted in two mounts facing 30 degrees off-board on the first two vessels. The latter vessels have four arrays, and on these latter ships, the array is visually different. The array is believed to be an Echo Foxtrot band radar and is likely to have a range of 50 to 100 nautical miles. One positive M1 multifunctional India slash Juliet band radar. This is capable of detection out to 81 nautical miles. One MR231 navigational India band radar. One Bass Tilt or MR123 fire control India slash Juliet band radar for the main gun and close in weapon system. 1. Electro Optical Camera And finally, the MP405 TAC-1 Echo Electronic Warfare Suite. The first two ships of the class would be laid down in St. Petersburg at the Pella Shipyards, with hulls 1 and 2 having their keels laid on Christmas Eve of 2015. These vessels would be known as the Uragan and the Typhon. This is where the NATO designation for the class comes from, Urigan. However, these names would change to Mayatishi and Sovetsk. These two ships would launch on July 29th and November 24th, 2017 respectively, with the commissioning taking place on December 17th, 2018 and October 12th, 2019 respectively. Both serving with the Baltic Fleet, the pennant numbers with these ships would be 567, and 577 respectively. A further 16 ships have been ordered as of the Army 2018 Technical Forum, with 14 of those being named. All ships are expected to be built for either the Baltic, Black Sea or Pacific fleets. The shipyards constructed with these later vessels would be the Pella and Zelendovsk shipyards for the Baltic fleet, the Moor and Zaliv shipyards in Crimea for the Black Sea fleet, and finally the Amur and Vostoshnia shipyards on the east coast of Russia for the Pacific fleets. The Pella shipyard would be contracted with hulls 1 and 2 as mentioned earlier, but also hulls 5 and 7. These two later vessels would become the Odintsovo and the Buria. These ships would be laid down on the 29th of July and December 24th, 2016, launching 22 months later with the Odintsovo commissioning on the 21st of November 2020, with the pennant number 567. Buria is still in the fitting out stages and has assigned the pennant number 578. The Zelenindolsk shipyards have recently started construction of their two vessels, Hull 11 and Hull 14, being the Tusha and the Typhon. These two vessels have had their keels laid on the 26th of February 2019 and September 11th, 2019. Both ships have yet to be launched. The Morris shipyards have been contracted with the construction of hulls 3, 8 and 10. These are the warships Kozelska, Okosk and Avika. These ships have had their keels laid on the 10th of May 2016, March 17th and December 19th, 2017. Their launch dates being the 9th of October, October 29th and November 13th 2019. As of yet, none of these vessels have yet to be commissioned into the Black Sea Fleet. 
Zaliv Shipyards got the contract for hulls 4, 6 and 9, with the names Zyklon, Askold and Mur. These ships were laid down on July 26th, November 18th, 2016 and the 30th of July, 2017. Hull 4 and 6 have been launched, with their launch dates being the 24th of July and September 21st, 2021. Hull 9 is yet to be launched. The Amir Shipyard got the contract for hulls 12, 13, 15 and 16. These vessels are to be the Rezev, Udlia Moya, Uzrisk and Pavlosk. These ships are some of the latest vessels in to be laid down, so they haven't actually been launched yet. However, these vessels keel laying dates are the 1st of July 2019 for hulls 12 and 13, the 26th of December 2019 for hull 15, and finally hull 16 was laid down on the 29th of July 2020. Vostoshnia shipyards have been awarded the contracts for hull 17 and 18. However, no name or keel laying dates have been provided as such, but they have been ordered, but they're not under construction as of yet. As of the middle of January 2022, three ships are currently in active service with the Russian Baltic Fleet. They are currently the sole operating fleet. In 2022, the Navy is expected to commission eight to nine of these vessels into their active fleets.